In today's video, I want to talk about dogs. The reason why is because this past weekend at the Vale Farmer's Market, I picked up these Golden Retriever greeting cards. Obviously, there's a lot that I need to explain to get from greeting cards to why I want to talk about dogs. And since it's such a nice day, I'm going to switch scenery a couple times as we go through the story. Now, back when I was very young, I liked dogs, but dogs weren't my favorite animal. That was reserved for giraffes. I think that had a lot to do with the dogs that I had met in my life. Most of them were pretty happy, pretty nice, but every so often I ran into a meaner dog or a dog that wasn't so happy. Dogs like a stranger's German Shepherd who sprinted across the field and bit me while I was playing on the playground as a small kid. Or the Shih Tzu of one of our friends who always wanted to yap and nip at me when I was over at their house. Now I like dogs more than cats because also again, probably due to experience, most of the cats that I had met had been pretty particular. None of them were that fond of being close to you. They just sort of wanted to do their own thing, as cats do. Also in favor of dogs over cats, I liked Scooby-Doo and Snoopy growing up. The reason I picked giraffes though was probably because they were tall and they were unique and they were always kind to the ones that I had met. I had always met giraffes at the zoo, the Shine Mountain Zoo over that way. And whenever we went, we fed them the little giraffe crackers. Giraffes always seemed nice when you met them. Fast forward to my 20s and I had met a lot more nice dogs and a few more nice cats and my position on cats started to change. And then 2020 came along and while we were sitting at home, a friend of my sister's had a a litter of puppies, husky puppies. And she asked my sister if she'd like to take one home. So my sister Olivia flew down to where her friend was living at the time, picked up and brought home a baby husky. We didn't really have a dog growing up, so it was a little strange at first having this little ball of fluff around the kitchen. He was a very cute pup, a little nervous around stairs, but pretty happy. At first I thought having him around was a lot. It's been a lot of late nights and early mornings just hanging out with him so that he would sleep. As Hachi grew older, we saw more of his wolf-like characteristics. He is a husky and he is very much a lone wolf. He likes to be on his own. But the thing about Hachi that really started to round out my personality assessment of dogs was the amount that he talked. Before Hachiko, I thought dogs just barked, except for Scooby-Doo, of course. But once we got Hachi home, he started to make all kinds of sounds. He's a very expressive dog. When we woke up in the morning, he'd say, hello. It's about this time we realized that Hachi would be leaving us as soon as my sister and brother-in-law found a place. And conveniently, a friend of mine announced that their dogs were gonna be having a litter of puppies, golden retriever puppies to be exact. And they asked if we'd like to come by and see them, which we did and they were very cute. We got to meet a variety of different pups, each with their own personalities. When it came time to pick a pup, we picked one that was pretty calm. So this pup, as he'd later be known as Winston, came to live in our home a couple months later. And as much as Hachi was a lone wolf on his own, Winston was very much a family dog from the beginning. He always wanted to be near us and was often pretty ornery when it came to getting there. When we brought him home, we set up a little pen where he could stay. And after having Hachi be figured, there's not a big likelihood that he'll climb out of it. But Winston, being a different pup, the first thing he did was climb out of the pen. Raising two dogs with different personalities and different breeds was interesting, but they were good boys and they continued to be good boys to this day. While the two of them t were together, they kind of had themselves as company. But as soon as Hachiko left, Winston was a little bit lonely. So I decided to spend more time with him. Which brings me to why I bought those cards. I think the past couple of years of having dogs around has really changed how much I care about dogs and why I decided to go with those cards. Well, that's enough rambling for one day. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video.